In this video, I'll show you how to create your own custom alpha substation styles in Subtitle Edit. Welcome to this video. My name is David and let's get into it. So I'm inside Subtitle Edit version 3.6.1 and I already have a subtitle file open and the corresponding video to that particular subtitle. The reason why I'm seeing the subtitles on top is because I'm using, I believe, let's check out the options, the settings, uh let's look at it's it's like the video player the mpv video player you can always download the mpv video player so that you can see how your subtitles will look like in real time or once you're done so the subtitle we are beginning with is a subrib subtitle file if i click on this particular drop down from the format uh option here if i click on that and select advanced substation alpha or .ass subtitles, just click on that. It's going to change everything that you see here. Now, the subtitle more or less remains the same because the style is the default style that we have here. Let's say we just want to create our own custom style. Now, there are different options here. You can click on uh, this particular option or you can also right click and click on advanced substation alpha styles. So if I just click on that, you'll see the style that you're using at the moment. It is the default style uh, and it's uh, right in here where you can have the different styles that you want. You can import a style if let's say you're collaborating with someone and they have a particular style that they like to have uh, the alpha substation styles or subtitles in, you can import, you can create one and export so that you can collaborate with other freelancers or even a client or maybe just share a particular style you've created with people that keep asking you about that particular style. So uh, we're starting off with the default. Let's say we want to more or less like create a new one. We can just click on new and then let's say uh, we want uh, uh, black, uh, black background. Uh, that's more or less just give it that name and then with alpha substation styles or subtitles uh, you can actually select the type of font that you want to use uh, depending on the fonts that you have or your brand or anything that you're working with you can choose whatever font that you want so uh, let's say we go with what uh, let's say we just go with uh, let's just go with Helvetica. Let's go with Helvetica. Let's just go Helvetica. That looks good. Uh, this is what it looks like. That's a sample. The font size uh, more or less really depends on your taste. You can say you go with a 20, but you also need to look at how it looks like here. Uh, let's say we go with a 40. You see how big it gets? If we actually apply, this is actually going to get this big. So let's just stay with a 20 and that's it. Uh, and then we want to create an outline for this particular uh, subtitle here. So what we are going to work with is uh, we'll just select the opaque box. And once we select this particular opaque box, you'll get the outline of this particular box here. So that looks good. And let's say apply. Okay, now since the style is the default style here, we can just press on control A and then come to uh, advanced substation styles and then select the black background style. And once we do that, it's actually going to change the style to this. So if you navigate to the other subtitles, you'll start seeing the style that you just created. And if you just move this a little bit over and then pull this slightly, you'll see this particular style that you just created. So that is how you can easily make your own custom alpha substation styles for your subtitles in Subtitle Edit. My name is David. I hope this video has been of value to you. Thank you for watching.